Welcome to another episode of Time to Go. We're just opening some presents here, and uh, ah, frankincense. I wanted gold. Yeah, well, sucker, I got it. Ah, and Godzilla. That's not fair. Well, I guess my parents love me more than yours love you. I guess so. Well, this week we're moving into Epiphany and talking about the three wise guys coming to visit. And uh, this is one of those familiar stories for all of us, or is it? Uh, this is a story we think we know by heart that the wise men, the three kings, show up with three gifts for Jesus in the manger and give them to this little baby. Well, that's not exactly how the story goes. Uh, this happens a year after or so Jesus is born and these three magi from the east come. Uh, these aren't kings. Uh, these aren't exactly wise men. They're just men who are stargazers and see something in the stars, astrologers if you were, and they come to visit Jesus and bring gifts. Uh, I hate to burst your bubble, but we don't even know if there were three of them. We think there were three because they brought three gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But it could have been three or it could have been 20 guys. We don't know. Uh, go back and read the story. You might find more than you thought is there. Yeah, we kind of let tradition change things because stargazers were a little scandalous. You know, Harry Potter showing up to visit Jesus. Sounds much better if they're wise kings, right? But uh, we do know that it was a star that led them there, that they followed the light of the star, the light of Jesus. And so I think that's for me at least, the kind of the, the guiding star, if you would, uh, for this text that uh, Christmas may be over, uh, but the star is still there. You know, Pastor Dane just said it was a year since the original Christmas before these, uh, these visitors showed up. And so Christmas is over, and it's over for us as well, but the light of Christ is still there. And what is it that is going to be guiding us as we move into uh, a new year? What is our guiding light? Are we following the light of Christ? Well, we're going to continue to play with our Christmas toys, but uh, we hope that you have a really great beginning to this new year, and uh, remember that the light of Christ is guiding all our way into the future, today and always. It's time to go. i got to open more presents. Have a good week. <laughs>